Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, my God. I couldn't be more excited to be playing more of this game. Holy crap. The first session was so good. You know, we just came from above the upper the upper land, the, whatever the first island was called up in the sky. What basically we'll call it Tutorial Island for now. We got all our new abilities, or at least a bunch of them. Freaking Ascend, which is crazy. We got Fuse, which is fucking cool. Recall, some Rewind action, and Ultra Hand. Oh, my God. The abilities in this game so far are already like wow. Just wow, like bang, like boom, like smash, like ooh. But anyway, let me kind of get my bearings here again. I haven't played it for at least a couple days, so I gotta make sure I got my controls down. But yeah, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom, y'all. More Zelda hype. Let's do this. So, first things first, I do have a marker on my map. I think that's a quest. Let me make sure I know how to, like, get to my map. Was it start? Or remember to select? Here we go. I wanted to look at my, uh, album. I, I, oh, oh, right. There's this, they had this in the previous game. The album was, like, different, like, landmarks that got marked based on, like, like, remember there was, like, different <sighs> spots where Link's memories were at in the first game, Tears, uh, Breath of the Wild. Anyway, we need to go to the Hyrule Kingdom of Hyrule. So, I mean, our biggest up thing is find Zelda, but we don't really know where she's actually at. Not really. But anyway, sometimes I'm Master Okay, so the Master Sword's gone. Even though I say we're going to be carrying it around the whole time, I got tricked immediately. Zelda took it. Anyway, so, I mean, we're here. I guess I could just head toward the marker and just... We'll go from there. Don't worry, we will do plenty of our own open exploration soon enough. Like, seriously, there's so much... There's just so much... There's just so much. That's like I don't even can't even I can't even elaborate on that. There's just so much. Dazzle fruit, huh? Okay. I I thought I already had some fruit like that, but sure. Fire fruits are cool. I feel like I just heard something. That wasn't just me, right? Unless that was that enemy down there. Or maybe there's a Korok around here. I don't know. Anyway, you played this game a little bit, Evil Office. Well, what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Are you not hooked on it? There's everyone else who seems to have been playing it very hooked on this game so far. Man, okay, so... I guess I won't worry about it right now. I think that's a like a Bokoblin, or whatever the whole thing is, those things are called. Oh, there's something going on here. Anyway, hello. You don't look like a friendly, though. You look like a Bokoblin. Hello. Would you like to... Oh! Who set me on fire? I didn't set me on fire. What the, f what the hell was that about? What the hell set on fire? Was there one of these fruits on the ground or something? We got a Bokoblin fang. Okay. And a Bokoblin horn. Okay. Anyway, you think this, the game's okay? Wow. Alright. Fair enough. Well, I already enjoy the hell out of it, so... Yeah. I got a baked apple. Let's go. Apparently there was an apple on the ground that got baked by all that fire. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. Interesting. Okay, so this is like a pilot. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no. The crafting, y'all. Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use... This material's cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Bro. Bro. Yep, this is happening. Okay, so what are we doing first? Oh my god, what are we doing first? I'm building I'm building this uh, contraption. It's happening. Man, okay. So I mean I'm having a hard time deciding how I want to do this. I guess I can make this the bottom. I don't even know. I feel like you could do anything with this. Alright, so... Rotate. Wrong button. Rotate. This way. Attach the wheel. To the side of the shit, like... Like this. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, do you, the wheels need axles? Or do they just spin? I guess we'll find out in a second. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna try this. 
it doesn't work, we'll learn why it doesn't work later, I suppose. This isn't gonna work. I can already tell you with the way it's fucking on there. It's not gonna work. It needs to attach at the at the the center. That's definitely not gonna work. Did you have to start exactly as you're having lunch, goddammit? Yeah, I did, DJ. I did. Anyway, what's up, man? Welcome in. Don't worry, I just barely got started. I haven't even done anything yet. All I've done is walk over here and found this pile of stuff, and now I'm building. That's literally all I've done, so... You're not missing much. Not yet, anyways. Anyway, I'm trying to get this thing leaned up against something so I can actually attach it the way I want to. Let's see if... Let's... I'm still trying to see what I want to do will work. So I'd like to attach, like, like this. Yeah, see, that is more what I was going for. Alright. Oh, Jesus. I heard you come in. I absolutely did not. I heard fucking bumping and shit outside. Of course I didn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really not. I know you're not because you do that shit on purpose. <laughs> heard me, my I ass. Didn't, I didn't actually mean to scare you. Anyway, what's up? Having fun yet? I just got started, literally. <laughs> The okay. Anyway, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. I'm trying to build a contraption with wheels, and it's working. It's working. What? Always oh, DJ having to work today. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's he's in you know another I know country. Where, I know where he is. So he's of course he has to work today. Well, I got homies in the UK that, like, this day is also a day off, but it's not their actual holiday. Fair enough. Wasn't sure if it's different for him, too. Well, apparently he's working. Anyway, I'm crafting a pretty dope thing right now, so don't mind me. Why are you making a cart? Because I want to. I just found stuff, and I'm like, I'm going to try something. Okay. I just want to see how it works. I know this is, like, a thing. Let's see. I want to go. Damn it. Not this way. There we go. There we go. Why not? Because if you, if you put that on top of the wheels, you can use it. I wasn't trying to put it on top of the wheels. I was trying to attach it there, like that. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. So, now that I have that, I need to use one of my thingy things. One of these. Yeah. Okay. Press and hold up. Select. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta do the attachment. This is gonna be epic. Oh, I'm going for a hell of a ride right now, y'all. It's gonna be epic. Why? So the wind gets through it. It's a fan. Who needs a. F are you, are you Watch what's about to happen. Okay. I'm not going to be able to steer this shit, but it's going to be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Here we go, motherfuckers! Yeah! <laughs> wow. All that effort. Hey, man. This, to go 10 feet. Hey, this saves all the time. What are you talking <laughs> about? Look how much time I just saved. <laughs> I, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, there will be a way to steer it later, for sure. Oh god, it's going backwards. <laughs> I, got, I lost I lost my momentum. <laughs> what is this? This is awesome. This is what it is, Chet. What's up, Chet? How you doing today, man? <laughs> Alright, well, I had my fun. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. You have audio now, DJ? Alright, man. <sighs> anyway, welcome in everybody. How y'all doing? They definitely left that stuff there because they wanted me to build that cart. That's why it was there. And don't tell me otherwise. What do you mean, okay? That's what it was there for. <laughs> you do you, boo -boo. You do you. Anyway, it's Legend of Zelda Crafty Motherfuckers is what it is. That's the name of the game. Anyway, I'm heading toward the yellow thing on the map just because I want to... I'll stick to the quest for the moment, but I'm sure we're going to go gallivanting on random stuff and, you know, make pit stops along the way. 
You're sad that there's no way to do a three heart run in this game, Shun for Tass. I mean, you could do a four heart run now, right? Four heart run's good enough, I would say. For a game that has 30 hearts, four heart run isn't, isn't too shabby. Because I'm assuming you can do a four heart run. That's the bestest car Hyrule has ever seen. Exactly, DJ. Exactly. What's going on with the cattle in the distance? Oh, the castle in the distance. It's floating. It's floating. Anyway, I'm switching weapons real quick. Don't mind me. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You did not just. Fucking bacoblin ass bitch. Come here, bitch. Oh, shit. He's got a bow. Wanna play the bow game? I got one too, bitch. Oh, shit. My weapon broke. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to waste my axe on these guys. Bitch. Yeah. Get some. Did they, were they guarding a chest? I have no idea. Alright, just so make sure you get all their shit. Do some work. See, I don't know how familiar you are with Breath of the Wild, uh, Chet, but uh, that is the Hyrule Castle from Breath of the Wild, and now it's it's there. It's, a, it's up there. So yeah, that's a thing. Man, they, they really left all these, like, building spots all over the place. Do whatever you want, man. Use this building... Right, use this materials cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you... Yeah, see, it's like... It's Hudson Construction Co., man. We gotta go say what's up. Oh, you beat that game? You 100%ed all the shrines and you even hard mode again? Nice. Nice. Well, GG on that. Well, in that case... Spoilers for this game if you're gonna play it. <laughs> Check out this fox right there. You see it? You see that fox? You see that fox? Not anymore, you don't. What? Meats. Gotta have the meats. I'm a fucking scavenger, okay? Seriously, I just grabbed everything I saw. Broke open everything I saw. Grabbed everything. This is what you call scavenging. <laughs> Damn, they put materials everywhere, man. This is kind of awesome. There's some, uh, more bacoblins over here. We were just wondering if this was pre-Breath of the Wild or post. This is definitely after. It's a straight-up sequel. It picks up, I won't say directly where it left off, but pretty much right after. Alright. Bring it on, bitches. I'm come. The Reaper has come. Blow your horn, motherfucker. It won't save you. That scream is so fucking savage. It's like, ah! Damn, that guy got wrecked too. See ya. Take all your shit, boy. Boko bow. I don't really want the Boko bow, but thank you. You had, like, more than 100 arrows near the beginning, too. DJ. I mean, there's a bunch in boxes and stuff. If you just break stuff open, my god, that's what I was doing. I was just grabbing these and, like, dropping them and shit, and boom, arrows, you know? Look, see? Found one in there. <laughs> yeah, and I know you just saw Mara pop up in the top corner. Anime waifu game! I think she's gonna play this, though. Oh, you actually... You meant to load that up? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, she's just checking on her DLC for Xenoblade 3 that she bought. Don't mind her. Arrows! Give them to me! Ooh, free shroom. I'll take it. That's my first Hylian shroom. I got sky shrooms out the ass last time. Wooden shield. Okay. Ooh, I wouldn't mind having that rock hammer, though. It's, oh, I actually had space for that. Okay, cool. I guess I did just break a weapon. Traveler's Spear. That's new. Um, Man, I have so many freaking things. I'm gonna... I'm gonna yeet this wooden stick. See ya! I just want a spear because it has reach. It's good. It's good time. You gonna do it tomorrow? Okay. Alright, well apparently Marl's not done with Xenoblade 3 for those looking forward to the DLC. She's gonna... Well, I didn't know you were gonna stream it tomorrow. 
Well, then do it. Shit, I'm gonna have to do shit, shit myself. I can't watch. God damn it. That's fine. Well, I'm gonna record it. I have to play it. God damn it. But anyway. Just keep on heading toward the yellow dot. I do see some civilization over here, so that's probably where we're headed. And this. Okay, so this was like the outskirts walls of Hyrule Castle before, I think. Yeah, we're like the gate and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. But definitely don't remember all this right outside. That bird sounded like an elephant. What the hell? The question is, is this... Humans? Oh yeah, there's definitely a soldier standing out front. He's a he's a homie, I'm sure. What's up, homie? I'm home. Sort of. No way! Mr. Link? That's me. Is that really you? Where have you been? No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. P P Pura? Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. Well, I'm here. Aww. I'm home. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're alright. Alright, well, let's go say what's up. I'm alive. Do I remember Pura from Breath of the Wild? I believe so. Isn't that the, like, the little old lady looking character? I want to say that's the case. There is stuff to buy. I don't have rupees yet, though. Haven't I got like zero rupees? Unless it's not rupees. Stock and selection goods. I ran to the farm. I'm to buy some stuff. Uh, it's definitely rupees, and I have zero, so that's cool. Yeah, exactly. It's the old lady that made herself younger. That's that's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure I remember who that is. Anyway, okay. Oh, I can... Oh, this is me selling stuff for rupees. This actually works. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can sell this shit for rupees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And these are my armors. Okay. So we're looking at selling. Do I want rupees right now? Kinda. But do I want to sell stuff that I might need? Not really. I don't want to sell stuff yet. Unless it's the only way to get rupees, I'm not doing that right now. But yeah, I want these freaking... I want this armor, man. Hylian armor, tunic, or tunic, trousers, and hood. I want it. How much is it? 120, 130... 70 so it's like 320 for all of it apple arrows yeah i don't need to know that shit right now all right just gonna take a look around do, 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 do. horses what's up dude oh it's you your arrival is sure to cause this bit of a stir mm -hmm. oh ho but you probably needed something didn't you well, if this is your first visit, go talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort. Certainly. I will do just that. Oh, what's in here? Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Yo, I can... Uh, oh, man. I, should, I feel like I should pick up that torch. It might be helpful. I keep pressing the dang R, uh, L button thinking that that's the weapon one. It's, got a, it's the D-pad, man. It's the D-pad. I'm going to leave that alone for now. We may or may not need a torch for something soon. I'll keep that in mind. For now, we're exploring and talking to peoples. What's up, dude? Oh. Graylins. Growlins? I'm right in the middle of giving out orders. This group's going to join the search for Princess Zelda. So whatever you need, it's gotta wait until... What? Is that really you? Link, you've returned! I've gotta say, that's that it's a relief to see that you're safe. I'm Growlins, head of the Monster Control Crew. But we can talk later. You need to report to Pura immediately. She has to know you're back. Monster Control Ooh. Crew? Your interest in our work honors us all, but please, go tell Pura you're safe. Maybe I'll just do that first so we can actually talk to people about whatever. I'm feeling like there's going to be some quests from here. I don't believe. Yeah, you do. Scorpus. Link, where have you been all this the whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and now you have. Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pura first and, for, for, first and foremost. She's up in a research lab. That's on the north side of our fort. Up on the second floor. Hurry. Yeah, yeah, I'm working my way there. Don't worry. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. Oh, this is the, this is the old dude, too, right? That's not her. But, uh, hmm. 
the old dude that worked with her. So those balloon things that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura. Pura? I don't even know how I want to... Pura. Pura? That's how you call her? Pura? Pura. Pura. Alright. Trust my boss, Pura, to take a thing... Or, I just want to call her Pura. <laughs> Pura. <laughs> to take a thing. We know so little about and turn into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule. A creative genius. Pura. Pura. Got it. This fucking guy, though. Ah, what a pleasant evening. Hey, you, where have you been? Robbie, the head of Pura Pad Development. Pura Pad? Don't answer that. Tech, tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. Pura Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you, the dis princess, disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some some peace of mind, will ya? That's the plan, Robbie. That's the plan. Ooh. I can't take... Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? I'm just... Uh, Joshua needs that for her chasm's research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. She doesn't have to know. Pose? What? Pray? What? Pose? What? Does this game have Pose? No. Bruh. Is this game brought Pose back too? That's hype shit right there. Alright, how the fuck do I get up there? I mean, never mind, there's a staircase. I mean, I say how do I get up somewhere, I can fucking climb, I can teleport through the fucking floor, but I don't need to do all that. Hello. What? That hair, those eyes, d d doc Dr. Pura, the swordsman, the swordsman has returned. I'm here. Hello, hello. <sighs> okay, now where have you been? Around. Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Linky. Hey. Looks interesting. That's my hand. Don't you dare examine it. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? I don't recall her looking exactly like that, but sure. A little bit. <laughs> So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy. Chet says he call her mommy. Which suddenly reanimates. Do it, Chet. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Ravu. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. That pretty much sums it up. Yep. If you needed a recap from what happened last time, there you go. Huh? Then. What? Are you saying you came from up there? Yeah, you're damn right. You'll never guess how I got down. I jumped. Anyway, this Raru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Oh yeah, we're calling it the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. 
Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there, which is concerning, to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Linky. Kinky Linky. Oh yeah. Anyway, we have character profiles. I didn't even see this in the log before. I don't even think this was here before, actually. No, it wasn't. Because it just had adventure log, map, and album, and then there was question marks there. Oh, you call him Daddy Raru? Daddy Raru. I've never been a furry before. I was going to say, he's very much not a human. <laughs> I uh, wonder what he can do with those big ass ears. Oh my lord. <laughs> Huh? 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 What? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Anyway, so we get to see what Pura looked like before and after here with this picture. That's cool. My goodness. Anyway, we completed that quest. Woot! <laughs> Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, she'll be here all week. Alright, so now that that's happened, any new quests also, Pura? You good? If the princess... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> really to tell you to find her, then you'd be better do so. And quickly. Captain Haas is... Yeah, we know. She, Captain Haas, near the castle. You got it. It's marked on the map. I'm good. Poor Princess Zelda. All alone. Beneath the castle with that creepy mummy. I don't even know what to do with me down there. What I do if it were me down there? Just thinking about it gives me the willies. Swordsman! You gotta rescue Princess Zelda. Quit calling me Swordsman. I'm Link, bitch. Oh my, what great big ears you have, Raru. Oh my lord. All the better to hear you with. I think she's I think she's thinking more than that, dude. But yeah. Wow. Alright, so I already talked to him about that. I'm gonna talk to the people who are like, go talk to Pura before you talk to me. Best game. Is it? Okay, well I'll have to see. So many daddies and moms. Oh, oh lord. Sorry I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here, Link. I was just so relieved to see you. My name's Scorpus. I've been been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, they need to all come right to me. I'll answer as best oh. I can. Uh, please allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Uh, sure. Emergency shelter, eh? Yeah. Ew. Hey, it's me! Open up, mother... day certainly opening ah. this underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family now we're making constant use of it feel free to make yourself at home in our vault use any equipment you want well I have full equipment right now but thank you oh. can I fill you anything in on here at lookout landing what's the latest homie what have I seen or heard someone must need something oh. We here at the emergency shelter have a rule. The newest team member has to do the cooking. Our current cook has been grumbling that after coming up with the new menu every day, he's starting to run out of ideas. Ah. Reminds me of my time as a cook. After a while, I gave up and started throwing apples on the fire. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I was reminiscing. So, I guess if he's giving me tips about people who might have a quest for me, is that kind of the idea there? Oh. Pura turned Lookout Landing into the central base for coordinating efforts to find Princess Zelda. Originally, she established this fort to study the gloom that started seeping from Hyrule Castle. Only researchers and members of the Zonai survey team worked here. But once the princess went missing, everyone wanted to help, so they've been coming in ever since. We're like one big growing family. Cool. Equipment. Cool. Lookout Landing was built on top of Royal Family's emergency shelter. We don't have much equipment in there, but we do have essentials like beds and cooking pot. Feel free to use those. If you need armor or cooking ingredients for your travels, you'll find all that at Mub's shop up here. Certainly. I'm going to take a look around down here regardless. Just, you know, so it's on my map. Uh, we talk to people, see if they got anything ah. to say. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You'll find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please, stay as long as you'd like. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies. I find it to be downright cozy. Ah! I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My task involved taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task, Hi. indeed. Watch your footing when using the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than using tiresome ladder. <laughs> but I digress. 
You want to see something cool? I'll have to show that off in a minute. Anyway, what's up, lady? Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spent so much time cleaning in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Where does all this dust even come from, anyway? Your dead skin cells? Don't make me get scientific. Nope, nope, nope. Not going near chasms anymore. Nasty gloom, it's everywhere. Making everyone sick. Making me sick. Glad I ate the yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom and I'd be canoeing down Old Death River. Aww. Worked my tail off for Josha. Kid runs circles around Pierre and Robbie. She loves research. Me? I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie low and keep lying here. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Link, right? You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard folks talking about you and your face matches the one on the poster. Oh, sorry. You wanted a bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty one you like. Uh. Nappin's, Nappin's sleep talking is particularly audible here, so you probably want a bed a little farther from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while. He still hasn't made a bunch of recovery. His name is Nappin, which is kind of hilarious since he's fucking Nappin. Oh. The upheaval created massive openings across the land known as chasms. In fact, there's one nearby just beneath Hyrule Castle and another to the south of Lookout Landing. But if you go plumbing those depths, you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff and your health will take a turn for the worse. Oh. Anyway, there's a young girl named ja Joshua who's been heading up investigations into the chasms. Despite her age, she's been leading the charge. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. Okay, so there's chasms we're going to go down below. It's kind of cool. There's like, we're going up above into the sky and we're going to go down below. It's pretty cool. Mm. So you're Link, huh? Some of the soldiers were telling me. As a simple man from Luralin, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Pretty sure I remember that town. Ah. Luralin Village. It's a fishing town in East Nakluda, far to the southeast. It used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Mm. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. Listen to me getting all gloomy. There's an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't have come here. I should have just shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout Landing. Uh -huh. No matter where you go, God's statues look the same. I find that comforting. Okay, so Loreland Village has been run over by pirates. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my oh. attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on deployment with the Monster Control crew, I spend hours poring over the maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in Lookout Landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. I mean, I remember general directions where everything is, but I might not remember the exact spots on the map. Mm. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, Gorons, Zora, and Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Oh. We Hylians also live in villages and that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom, in fact... Our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Hmm. Hyrule has eight major places that its various peoples call home. You wanna you gonna po point out a mine on the map for me? I think that's what's about to happen. Indeed. Lookout Landing's located here in central Hyrule. Up there you got the Rito, yup, in Hebra. Okay. Down there you got the Gerudo in Gerudo region. Up there you got Goron City and the Elden. Oh, Terrytown. That's the that's the one we like rebuilt. I'm pretty sure. Where we like where we didn't rebuild it, we created a new town up like it was up on this like little I don't know. Plateau. I don't even know what you want to call it. I just remember it being like a brand new town where we bring people in from all over the world to live there. And there was like a wedding and shit there. I remember that game that, that side quest. Not too far from there, Zora's Domain. Yep, yep. Oh. Continuing into the southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. An area called Nakluda. I believe that is Kakariko, where the Sheikah are. Yep, yep. Then there's Hateno Village, which I you know, I remember that one as well. That's the one where we got like all the clothing and stuff, yeah. And then there's Luralin, which is the one we just talked about a minute ago. Uh. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. 
If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the people of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on duty or on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. Sweet. Hmm. I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval, but I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. Sounds wow. good. There's an, been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful out there. Unfamiliar. Hell yeah. New stuff. Traveler sword. I'd gladly take this stuff, but I don't really have the space. Um, I mean, whatever. I don't really want to pick up weapons right now that badly. I, I kind of want to just oh. talk to everybody. Oh, hey, is that you, Link? I've been nosed down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. This is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this. Ah. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Ah. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. Ah. It was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most ah. things. Oh yeah, in case nobody mentioned it yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much to use to you, since they're, you guessed it, a decayed. Uh-huh, sure. Not as good as they used to be, I suppose. Anyway, you have a... I feel like she had a marker over her head. Oh, oh this is the cook, so yeah, okay. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer, too. My name's Bermano. Bermano. Bermano? Bermano. Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something like fancy like, For today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix. That'll rev you right up. Uh... Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but uh, I'm plum out of apples. If, you don't have my most, if I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich and full oh. flavor. My nose is detecting an aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Sure. Take it. I have one whole apple for you. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you the first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Alright, so I guess this is a quest. And maybe we'll get a quick quest to complete that. That'd be nice. I'm calling it Bermano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Totally. Two heart heal. That's so much going on in that plate. It's ridiculous. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. I I just might. I just might. You got anything else? You really saved my bacon. Now I can give the search party plenty of energy to keep up the hunt for Princess Elva. If you need to cook, feel free to use this pot. Okay, so you can cook here if you need to. It's the same Hyrulean script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. I still have a lot to learn. Hmm? Hmm? Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right off, uh, you must be Link. Am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I'm Wartsworth. My research specialty is ancient Hyrulean. Mm. And my ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the Ring Ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Mm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They look like gibberish to your average Hy Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now, but I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready to, for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. Alright, cool, cool. Surveying shrines, surveying chasms. I mean, I guess I can read these. Mysterious ruins that appeared due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions called shrines. They're believed to be from the Zonai Civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Yeah, they look like big, giant, cosmic potatoes. Large holes appeared all over the world. From the people, they release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua... Joshua Joshua, the leader of the Chasm Surveys. Okay. We of the Zonai Survey Team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents through the lens of archaeological understanding. It is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule through the upheaval many ruins from the Zonai Civilization to come crashing down from the sky. 
We have known very little of the Zonai, but we know Netmino now have evidence that their culture had once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Taro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base of Kakariko Village. All right, cool. Definitely going to be going to Kakariko for some stuff later, I'm sure. I mean, Impa's there, right? Still, I assume. Did we talk to everybody? We did not. What's up? Mm -hmm. Remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for a Zonai survey yeah. team. Well, it should call for that, but instead they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region so I'm even more prepared when the call mm -hmm. comes. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. Rito are all over the newspaper lately. So it's cold in the Rito area, I guess? They live out in the Heber region, if I recall. It's in the snowfields of northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors grouse about going there because of how cold it is. When all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito Inn to sleep in a luxurious fluffy down bed. <sighs> I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on a survey already. I was going to say, isn't the Rito area already snowy? So they're saying it's more cold? Or are they just implying that that's the cold area? Remember when you go there. Today in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear over everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins to thorough investigations the world over. Huh, guess this paper's a little old. Okay. Alright, I think I finally talked to everybody that was down here. It's a lot of people, but it had to be done. Now, you want to see something cool, sir? Assuming that it'll work down here? I'm assuming it will. Check this shit out. See ya. Yeah, I'm swimming through the floor. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's talk to this guy again real quick. You got anything new? Anything new? Any new quests or anything? Don't think there's anything we need help with currently. Okay. So no new quests around here at the moment. That he knows about anyway. In which case, man, there's so many people still. I talked to some of them, but God, there's so many. So we have here doing training on a training dummy. I feel like I've talked to enough people for the moment. We'll come back through and talk to more people as more things open up, I'm sure. I think we should just go toward our next destination. Go talk to the, the team that's over by the castle looking for Zelda, apparently. So let's just go do that for now. Hyrule Castle Town Ruins. Yeah, right now I'm resisting the great urge to go around and be like, Hey, that shrine over there. Hey, that shrine over there. Hey, there's a shrine over here anyway, so hell yeah. It's so interesting seeing all these, like, unfinished building spots in this area. This feels like something that's going to develop over time as the game goes on. Also, hello, Skelemon. Fuck out of here. They started appearing because it's nighttime. Sucks to be y'all. Whoa, why is the Bacoblin arm so strong? What the hell? That's crazy strong. I kind of want one. I mean, this spear is cool because it's a spear and all, but like, Bacoblin arm, bro. That shit's strong. But I want to make sure we pick up their uh, their actual spoils they drop, regardless of their arms. Ooh. It's a farming hoe. Gotta pick up all the different things, even if I don't actually pick up, pick them up, you know? Flower? Silent princess flower, alright. Also, can we read this? I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the Calamity, Zelda. Alright then. Well then, there's a shrine here. Welcome to Central Square. Some more weapons laying around here. Traveler's Claymore. Hmm. 
where to even begin, bro. I'm about to do this shrine right now, though. Before I, I'm going to talk to this guy first, though. Or a girl. Well, you scared me. What are you doing at such an hour? The Hyrule Castle chasm's nearby. It's dangerous, you know. For all I know, this shrine can be dangerous, too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. What with the upheaval? Watch your back. More like chasms. You know, the creepy openings in the ground ever since the upheaval? They're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not chasms. Huh? You mean like this one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. It was smack on the front page, you know? So far, we know they're from the age old legend, age of legends. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they, anyway? Huh? Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all, all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which could be scary. So we need to investigate them pronto. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Well, I'm about to do this shrine right now, so watch me. I have the power to get in, said shrine. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going in. Yeah, at the very least, we should activate shrines, because I'm pretty sure they're going to be check mark checkpoints on the map where I can teleport to, regardless if I can do them or not. So always activate the things. But hey, if you can do them when you're here, why not? I mean, I imagine this is probably one of the first ones most people do, since it's right here. So it's probably not going to be too difficult of one. Whatever it may require. Oh, this one's got combat training. Okay, well, I got plenty of weapons. Let's do it. Bring it on. I'm going to smack a fool down with some hands. I'm going to throw hands, literally. Step up. Step up. This, this shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Oh, you're going to teach me how to combat, actually. All right. X to jump, L to strafe. You got it, dude. Set him on fire. There we go. And we got a flurry rush. Yo, let's go. Damn, the Bokoblin arm is hella weak. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create a strike. Yeah, okay. I know how to do it, but thank you. Flurry Rush! Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped. That might help. Uh, too many axes. Let's just use one weapon. Flurry Rush! Nice. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in an opening you create. I... A okay, A is parry. Wow, that shield did not last. Hold up. Every time. Oh, I pressed it way too early. There it is. Yeah, get parried on, son. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch enemies in this motion to damage them. Press and hold Y to attack. Ah! Yeah. Uh, yeah, motherfucker! Easy peasy. I pretty much remember all those techniques. Got to master them again. Which I feel like I was doing pretty good at them when I was playing Breath of the Wild when I last played it. But it has been a long time. A long, long time. Do I want a rusty broadsword? Do I want... What's over here? Rusty shield. Rusty... I guess I'm taking it. Fuck it. Rusty shield. Is that the whole shrine? Just teaching me and then we're done? Wow. That was a pretty short one. I'm okay with this. Zonaite sword. Okay, well that's better than something I'm carrying, I'm sure. Eh, I'll just give her the rusty sword. Fuck it. I don't want it that bad. Alright, well. Uh, assuming that's all that's in here. Yep. All the treasures in here are done, so let's get the fuck out of here. Get ourselves another ball of light. I already forgot what they're called. <laughs> we
We could skip this though, right? Light of blessing. Yeah, basically a ball of light. Blah, 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 blah. On to the next one. All right, guys. I was going to say it's our first shrine, but technically it's like, what, our fourth, fifth, fifth, fifth shrine. Fifth shrine. Yeah, it says five over there on the right. I see it. Five shrines, two Korok seeds, and one ball of light currently possessed. Got it. Anyway, you're welcome. Whoa! Was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? Uh, what is it? We're close to the chasm here. And eh, blah blah blah. Okay, so she's reacting to the hole in the fucking thing. That's all. Okay. Well, you're welcome. Don't go in there unless you can combat. I wonder if anyone else can actually go in there now that I have the opening. That'd be interesting. Put this. Pura has sent urgent orders from Lookout Landing for all of us on the Monster Control Crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked with tasked us with searching the area beneath for, it for Princess Elden and her protector. Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart. Captain Hawes. Yo, Captain, where you at? I'm assuming he's more near the castle. Assuming it's a he, I don't know. Let's keep working our way over here. I know I've seen this guy over here. Are you the Capitan? You don't look like the Capitan. Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time and I didn't even see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Haas doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower on top of the hill, past the lower mm. gates. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Indeed. He shall, because he didn't know. He didn't know either. It's understandable. Also, yay, I caught, a, I caught another firefly. Woot. Oh, Capitan. I'm here. Can I just go through the gate? Or do I have to, like, go around? Open the gates, bitch. No? Really gotta go around, huh? Fine, then. I, I, there's nothing to teleport through above, is there? Or is there? No. I mean, we could just shimmy around. Like, oh no, I got past the gate. It was so hard. <laughs> Hello. Uh. Hey, this area's off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like oh. that. Link, it's you. I'm sorry, I had no idea that you returned. Wait, if you're back, does that mean we don't need a search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. That's what I'm working on. It's so cool that we're actually, like, back in the Hyrule Castle area. It, was, it used to be overrun by so many enemies and shit. Or mostly guardians. That's what it was overrun with. Guardians you had to fucking deal with. Which was a pain in the butt. Anyway, hello, hello. What's up, dude? Link! No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is the direct order of Captain Haas. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Alright, so I can go in there once I talk to the captain. Got it. Keep following the road. Do -do -do -do. Can't wait to have more stamina. Doop -ba doo ba Hello, hello. What's up, player? Oh. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh? You're the splitting image of Link. Spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Haas saw you, he'd be startled he'd even fall off the gatehouse over there. Yeah, I bet you he would. I bet you he would. Oh. Did you come here to... Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all go a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway. But the captain's way up on top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Alright, pothead. Guess what? I got ways, bro. I got ways. Anyway, welcome to the first gatehouse. Hello, hello. 
Just like I thought the weapons here all have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Ooh. Hey, it's a new yeah. face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might be and still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. There's also they're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. So you can strengthen them by like, you know, fusing them with shit, I guess. Anyway, how long do I plan to play today, uh, DJ? I'm actually not sure. Um, at least a little while. I don't I don't really have like a timetable on how long I'm going for today. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, it might be for a while, it might be for only a couple hours. I don't really know at this moment in time. But, you know, I'll be for here for as long as I can, playing as much as I can. I don't seem to be able to teleport up. This shit's too high, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to find another way up, I suppose. I mean, we could probably just climb. We just gotta climb in the right spots. Climbing on up like a champion, because that's what Link is, and he's hella good at it. Yes, yeah, right, Captain. I'm already here, bitch. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, okay. Huh? Link, is that you? You're alive and all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda's safe too? What a relief. Well, about that. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling to you and you're helping... And you're here to help with the search? I, I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I, I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you came up, come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've got to be been a bit dead in the water. Oh? Captain, it's Princess Zelda! Wait, what? Are you sure? Wait, what? Mm? The hell? Princess Zelda, she's safe! Um, yeah, about that. Uh, sure. Wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. She's just up there staring away, and now she's going bye-bye. Alright, sure. Wait, what? Mm? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? I mean, how strange. This is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know that this is soon as po about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it'll take a bit. Please, we must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Hey, look, X Gamers playing Tears of the Kingdom right now also. Because nobody can help themselves. I really want my wind sail, man. I miss being able to freaking float down from places. God. Also, were you here and I just didn't see you? Hello. Whoa, what was that? My eyes weren't playing tricks, were they? No, they wouldn't do that. That was Princess Zelda. What's going on? What's going on around here? Well, that's the thing. I'm gonna... Do I... Okay, so do I have a teleport that goes back... To the actual lookout. Can I go here? <sighs> Can we get a thing that lets me teleport there? Man. I mean, this is close. I'm hoping we get a thing to let us teleport back there directly, though. That would be nice. It's not that long of a walk from here. I'm glad I at least have a teleport. Should I have to walk all the way back if I didn't do that one shrine? God damn it. Dang, nip it. Kiononis, Kiononis, Kiononis Shrine. Not that I'm ever going to commit any of the names to memory unless they have hilarious or, you know, reference names. Alright, working our way back to the fucking place because I need to go doo doo. Seen that at least one streamer was doing the game without using any teleports. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Enjoy the world for what it is. Explore it. Like, it, 
like you're you know like it was meant to be explored don't teleport around but holy shit this world's so huge why would you want to walk literally everywhere that's so overkill so unnecessary oh you know what oops there's water there um i know what i need to do if i want to teleport back here i gotta climb this motherfucker hold on we're gonna do that real quick if it's a thing this is what i need to do absolutely What's in here? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's the elevator back up if I want to get to the top. All right. But I got to activate this shit first, I imagine. So hold up. I'm hoping that if I climb to the top of this, we can activate it. If I climb up here and I can't activate, I'm going to be a little bit sad. You know what? I'm not going to do it yet. Only because if there's a chance I'm supposed to, like, progress to get this to activate... Like, maybe the story will dictate our first one of those, and then we'll do the rest ourselves. Let me not get ahead of myself. Pura, what's up? Well, did you find anything? Huh? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle, and then she transformed into light and flew off? Gotta say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I gotta believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Sure, sure. It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Oh right, I forgot that before we could look at your overall map of Hyrule. We need to have map data for that from that around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. See? I'm smart. Don't get ahead of yourself. I could have climbed all the way up there, DJ, and made you happy because I wasted my time. But I was like, nah, wait, hold on. This feels like it needs to be activated first. She's about to tell us to go up there. Josha, what's the status of Skyview Tower right now? <laughs> Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Okay. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Ah. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's just it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, Talk to the guy over there. I already did that. Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter is. You need clothing for your travels? Go buy that shit. You should go to Mo Mo Moobs' shop. Moobs'. I'll be over here. or I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. Alright, Josha. Let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. You know, for the lols, it could have been fun to, for me to try to climb this tower. But I also feel like at some point along the tower's climb, I probably would have hit a roadblock of falling down and not having the stamina. Like, I don't... That's pretty fucking high, and there's not a lot of checkpoints to stop and stand along the way that I can tell from here. So, I'm kind of glad I didn't bother to do that. Would have been... A fucking disaster piece. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and go down here and sleep. I might talk to that dude in the morning and see if he has any new quests around. But for now, I already talked to everybody down here, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. Uh, beds. Sorry, where are the beds? Over, over on the other side. I want to run in a big ass circle. Bed. Sleep. Until morning. Let's go. It's already 8 a.m. Let's sleep till 8 a.m. again. Oh shit. Meanwhile. Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long 
Holy crap, they got like legit big ass moblins in this one. Alright. Those are new. They did not have those big fat fo fat boys in the last one. So whenever there's a blood moon, it resets all the enemies. That's what I gather from that, just like last time. Alright, well, you guys want to see my magical powers again? It's pretty cool. Watch me go! Whee! Time save. Alright. So I'm assuming that this tower is ready to go and we can now have a teleport spot here. That would be cool. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. That should do it. Hey, Link, you're all set. I just wrapped up here myself. Travel point's working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Pura pad. Activate, hey. right? We're ready, Josha. Pull the switch. Hey. Yeah, just casually sleeping for 21 hours. Don't mind me. You know, 8 a.m. the previous day to 5 a.m. the next day. Your boy's got to ca catch some Z's, you know what I'm saying? That tower is lit as fuck, yo. Lit as fuck. What the hell? Oh, I see. It's like send out a flare for all the other towers. I got you. I see. I see. Oh. All the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Dope. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Ah. Go, hold the pure up head over the terminal. Alright. <laughs> Booyah, Mofo. Booyah. All right, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. Dope. That means you can use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. Same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your pure up pad. Impressive, right? Hell yeah. But Skyview Towers are more than about just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The pure up pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Pretty great, huh? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested out this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Fuck yes. I've been waiting for that. Thank you. All right. Paraglider. Press X to activate that shit. Let's go. Right. It's showtime. Let's start with the test scan. Now it's time for our very first test lot. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterwards, all right? Was I wondering if I was going to get one at all? Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure in the trailer for this game they had the the, the, the little, you know, the, the, the glider. So I'm not surprised by it. I was just waiting for it to come back. It's the one thing I expected to be able to keep, to be honest. Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah, you will. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I also need you to update your map with the places where the upheavals wreak the most havoc. Best of luck. All right. Let's do it. We're going we're going flying, y'all. That shit's going to launch us so hard. Oh shit, it's a guardian. Bruh. Hilarious. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Talk about repurposing the guardians, huh? Wee! Oh boy! Wow! I mean, that's pretty dope.
Better take a fucking selfie. I mean, scan the area. Alright, and our surface map has been updated with our first area. Sweet. Sky map updated. And now we fall to our death. Sweet. Uh, I can sail, baby. Whee! Now that we have the paraglider, falling ain't nothing, dog. Falling ain't nothing. Anyway, whatever. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Man, the scale of falling from this high is crazy cool. Yeah, it's like you don't want to use it to get closer. Whee! What's up, Dandy? What have you missed so far? I mean, you've missed my first little foray into the world here. I'm just at Lookout Landing. I did my first little shrine nearby to learn some combat. We saw Zelda real quick, and then she dipped out pretty quick. You haven't missed much. Everything in this game takes a while, you know. But I just got the glider, so that's pretty cool. Thank you. Huh? Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how'd it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh? Damn right I did. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting yes. them all. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Sure, 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 sure. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, the, there's Lanayru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Basically the exact same four places that you had to deal with last game. I can't say for certain, but... I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Phenomena. Hmm. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Heber recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock into hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Link... We've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help you out in some way, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Indeed. Alright. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. You already got a quest. Hold on. Oh. Sorry, I can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Oh, okay. Maybe I gotta follow her? So that I can intervene on said conversation? 